Hello. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Now I know you guys haven't ever seen my real face, but this is what it looks like in real life. Ha ha ha. And yeah, we will be doing something apart from gaming today. We will be cooking brownies. And yeah, this the channel that you guys subscribe to will be gaming and cooking. Maybe even just having fun on random posts and stuff. Having a Nerf war in the house. Who knows? But let's just get started. Enough about talking. Like, comment, subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know every time I post a new video. And yeah, we will get started now. So, in order to make the brownies, you must have three large, well, two large eggs. Because we are cooking fudgy brownies, not cake-like brownies. So we must take three large eggs. One, two, and three. Three large eggs. One, three large eggs. Actually, I'm on wheel number two. I'm on number two. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Little mistake. So now we have a one fourth cup of water. Now I know that that's a little, and it looks like this. And yeah, this is what it looks like one fourth cup of water. We also have, for the final thing, one half cup of oil. Which is in this thing. I'm trying not to shake it that much so I don't spill. So yeah, I'm just going to put it down. But anyway, let's get started. So step one, preheat oven to 350 for a metal pan. Now we already did that before the video. Because I don't want you guys to have to sit through watching me do that. So we're going to move on to step two, which is empty brownie mix, which comes with this package. Just saying. So, yeah. Then I hand it to my little friend. Actually... Actually, you know what? You know what ah! Glorious! Now, I just have a magical... Uh, magical scissor here that somehow appeared from my magical servant called my father. LOL. Anyway, we will open this up and pour it. This mixture, which comes with the instructions in the box, the instructions are on the back of the box as you can see, into this medium bowl. So yeah, we will be doing that now. Do, 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 do. Eat water. <laughs> do, 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 Pour the holy mixture into the holy bowl. <laughs> and make it rise Every day! Hello! So now that we have the mixture in, let me see what's next. We are supposed to put the three eggs, as you can see, one egg, actually the two eggs, because we're making the fudgy. These two eggs, crack them, put them in. So I will do that as so. That's one egg. And two egg. Now keep in mind that I am only 10, so it's not gonna be like ooh la la, absolutely perfect. No no bueno, whatever the whatever you guys call it. If you speak Spanish, put it down in the comments. 
Anyway, we shall continue by pouring the water in and the oil in. Try not to spill, try not to spill, try not to spill. Yeet. Okay, we do not spill. <laughs> success! Okay, so we got that as a success. Now we're supposed to blend it, but because we do not have a blender, we are going to use this whisk to whisk it up instead of the blender. Now, it's supposed to be about 50 strokes, which we will do now. So it might take a little if you want to fast forward and basically see what that is like, then you can. So yeah. Now this step is optional, but this is what I do with some of my well, this step isn't optional, but the one that I'm going to do soon will be. So, it's all whisked up, and it looks like this. It is all like this. Can the camera see? I think it can. Okay, it's good. And now I'm going to pour it into this metal pan. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour it in. Now I'm just saying it does have the pan has to be covered with some sort of spray first before you do this. And that's one of the first steps. But anyway, we are just gonna pour it in. Just saying it might get a little messy for you guys out there. So yeah. So now this step that I'm about to do is optional. I like uh, putting marshmallows into my brownies. So what we do is we basically take some little marshmallows and we put them into the syrup. And then when we put them in the oven, it will melt. And it will be delicious after the afterwards. I've tried it before and trust me, it is good. So I definitely recommend doing this. If you want, you could put like gummy worms at the end or something, depending on what you want. Some people even put ice cream on theirs, just to make it fun. Now, these mushrooms, I mean these, uh, uh, jet puff, or whatever things are called again, uh, 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 brain fart, marshmallows. <laughs> uh, they're all stuck together, basically. So, uh, it's kind of hard, and it kind of looks a little mushy. But, it is good at the end. And at the end, I might put some whipped cream on top. As something fun. I might. It's not 100%, but I might. But we're going to continue doing this. Then, just things out. My hands are getting really messy, so if you have ones that are stuck together. Uh, I'm not using the ones stuck together. I would not recommend you. These ones, I would recommend buying fresh ones. Like, those ones are always the best. Freshly buy them from the store, and then put them right on. Those are always the best. Now, if they're stuck together like this, I haven't ever tried them, but I know if you eat it regularly, it will taste like some type of delicious cotton ball. Just saying I've never tried a cotton ball. I wonder how it tastes. But I know from my hand texture and my one of my five senses, the, the touch... A sense that it feels soft and seems to these marshmallows. And then when so it will become all melted up and and yeah. Hopefully this works. We will try to speed it up now. Okay, so we are almost done. We are so close. It's so far. Hey, for all you guys who watch uh, Star Wars out there, uh, shout out to you. You're gonna be right back in just a second. Cause, yeah. And yeah, we're gonna be right back. <laughs> Joking, we're gonna put it in the oven. I'm just saying I've always been a kidster. And by kidster, I mean always joked around. I don't remember the 
I seen the cabinet player joking with my either brother or dad or someone. stuck on it. So, yeah. This one had nothing. This one did. So, yeah. We are going to try this one again. This one came out good again. So, yeah. It came out good. It came out good. Like, I didn't expect this to turn out in a heart shape, but I'm guessing it did. And, yeah. They look pretty nice. It came out really good. And now... We will cut them up into the brownies using uh, Give me a minute guys. Using this. Now I'm gonna get a plate really quick. So now that we got the plate, we can chop one up and we will put whipped cream on it. Or not, because I just found out from my dad that we do not own whipped cream at this moment. Now, the pan is still hot, so I'm going to get this up on it just to make, just to do extra syrup on. So yeah, we will do it now, cutting deep into the brownies home. And yeah, we have a brownie made. That's a simple little brownie. This is what the brownie looks like. Made by yours truly. And now we will put it on this plate. And yeah, we will eat it now. After it cools down for a little. But while we wait for that to cool down, I'm going to cut the rest of these things up into the little bits that they are. And yeah, we will continue. Hey guys, so welcome back. We are going to be taste testing the brownie. And yeah, but the reason why we stuck those sticks into the pan is to see if it was fully cooked. If if batter would have stayed on it, that would mean that it wouldn't be fully cooked and you would have to cook it for longer inside of your oven. And yeah, now I cooked, I personally, for the toppings, I like the cooked in uh, marshmallows. They're good. Now, some people like having with ice cream or gummy worms or Sour Patch Kids or gummy bears and all that type of stuff. Some people like having a waffles with brownies. Some people like having it with fudge and others like having it with certain types of cream. But anyway, these are certainly in my top two favorite brownies I've ever tasted. Cooked in marshmallows, baked in with it, and it is delicious, guys. You should definitely have it. Holy cow. It's a life changer. I know I told you. It changes your life forever. I know I told you. In the face of desserts, it is the best. I told you. Wow. I told you it was life changing. Well, anyway, guys, uh, excuse my little brother, and peace.
Peace.